It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the New Orleans Saints and the Green Bay Packers. And it's coming up next. There's a look at one of the most iconic sports venues in the lower 48, built back in 1957 under the title of City Stadium. We are at Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Today, we've got an intriguing NFC matchup lined up here, as it'll be the New Orleans Saints taking on the Green Bay Packers. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. CD, it is officially a new era here in Green Bay. After a few years of Willie Woney with Aaron Rodgers, it is officially time to see Jordan Love quarterbacking the Green Bay Packers. And we'll find out what lessons he's absorbed along the way, how well he's mastered the playbook, the respect he's gained from his teammates in the locker room. We know that love is in the air in Green Bay. The key is, what will love do through the air? And then for the visiting Saints, you know, most people might not realize this. You talk about defenses against the pass last year. The Eagles Super Bowl team, they were number one, but coming in at number two, these New Orleans Saints. Remember, they're led by a defensive-minded head coach, and he plans really well on that side of the ball. Want to see if they can continue that? and find some firepower moving the ball on offense. Ready for football now from sunny Wisconsin. And off we go from Lambeau. And able to get this out to the 25. So here are the new look Packers set to go to work. And at the helm here in 2023, a lot of eyes on this man in his fourth NFL season, Jordan Love. This is set up now to be the true beginning of Love's NFL career because he's finally out from under the shadow of Aaron Rodgers, and Green Bay is giving him this season to prove he can be their starter. Four years after he was drafted in the first round, we'll find out Love is the next decade-long starter for the Green Bay Packers. Okay, ready? Right side hauled in by Dobbs. Oh, what a juke into space! And they're able to get this one across the 35. 12 yards on the gain. A great start for this offense. Zero hesitation that time. That was get ball, throw ball. Yeah, turn into a smoke route. If you see the coverage off the receiver, doesn't matter whether you call it a run or not. Just take the ball, get it out to him. Love now to pass on first down. And this one is incomplete. You get a sense of what this game plan might be. They think they can take a few home run shots against this defense. They tried it there on the opening drive, but that ball's incomplete. Now a second and 10. Off the play fake, Love. Throwing left side, and Watson has it. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half, to about the 39. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Again, it's Love. been a situation where even though you don't hit on the deep throw you at least put in the defenders minds early in the game that we're going to press the ball deep against your secondary and that can have a ripple effect on how they function throughout on now is the Packers punter deep for New Orleans is Rashid Shaheed taking it about the 16 it'll go as a 42 make it a 43 yard punt six on the return and the saints will take over with a first down and 10. so here come the saints to take over for the first time and here's the new man under center after nine seasons as a raider Derek carr is the guy it's going to take some time to adjust to seeing carr running out in a new uniform instead of black and silver it's black and gold 35,000 yards and over 200 touchdowns with the Raiders. 
The Saints more than willing to let him air it out all game long to a talented group of pass catchers in the Big Easy. On first and 10, here's Carr. He gets it to Thomas. It'll be a gain of five, and it's second down. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five at the 28-yard line. Car. There's Chris Olave. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Now a timeout here, at least for the moment. Looks like one of the Saints is injured, shaken up on that last play. Well, hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Second and five. Here's Carr to throw. Targeting Thomas on the out route, making the catch. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play Never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving. Scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. He'll look to throw. This one complete to his running back, Jamal Williams. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. That's going to be a good matchup for him. Using him out of the backfield and telling those linebackers, hey, you're not only going to have to try and run with him, but you're going to have to try and tackle him in the open field. Now a first down carry by Jones. Solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your O-line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. Second down and a little more than a yard here. To throw its car. This one swung out here to Jones. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. That play gets him six yards and sets them up with a first and goal. Thomas, the man in motion left. They'll try and run. This is Williams. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. They'll bring the tight end in motion right. Williams will try again. Down at the two. Broke through first contact, but ultimately stopped shy of the goal line. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. This is kind of one of those in-between plays here, Charles, on third and goal from the two or the three in that area. What do you dial up? 
Something quick hitting. You don't have the time for something that develops slowly. It's got to be right at them. If you're hammering for the goal line, he loses the football. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. Can this defense hold him out? Here we go now, fourth and goal from the two. They'll go for it. It's Carr. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They try to throw on fourth and goal from the two, and the Packer defense stands tall down by the goal line. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. Now the fourth year man from BC, it's A.J. Dillon. And he did not want to go down there as he carries tacklers for a solid gain of nine. We talk about setting a tone or beginning a drive. That run was absolutely textbook. <laughs> I'm telling you, partner, now they're not just thinking about an easy drive. They're thinking about maybe taking it downfield. Yeah, started at their two. Now they've got a heavy amount of breathing room. A guy coming off a career high in rushing yards last year. Here's Aaron Jones. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. 13 yards, first down Packers. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. On first and 10, Love. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it. Trying to get those rack yards before he secured it. Here's second and 10. Working out of the gun, Love. This one into the hands of the rookie, Luke Musgrave. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Here's third and three. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And they will take over first and 10. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. And last time, they had it fourth and goal, rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind them, try to put together another drive. Hey, a simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you got us last time. But you didn't hold us the whole time. We got down to position where we were able to be in position to score. Let's go ahead and attack again. Continue to have that kind of confidence. Not worry about the one play that didn't allow them to get into the end zone. And this time they'll be trying to get it into the end zone. We'll see what they do. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. From the 33, here's second down and five. Throwing now is Carr. Incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. 
It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Now Carr. The throw out wide going to be incomplete. first two drives, but this one's going to get them out to nothing. They've got to start dialing up some plays that allow them to finish drives with points. Here comes the Saints punter now. And the rookie Jaden Reed deep for the Packers. Take it in at the 22. They'll get nine yards on the return there following a punt of 42. And it'll be Packer football here. First down at 10. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. We've seen both of these offenses still sort of in that figuring things out phase, but I suspect some action on the scoreboard soon as they start out here first and 10. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones to about the 35, second down. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. From the 35, here's second and six. Now a draw play. This is Jones. And he'll push forward to the 37, gain of two. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. This now a third and four. Throwing. Love. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have the Packers first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger gain. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. A first down run here by Jones as he'll take it forward for a game of about four. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Now a second and six. Love looking to throw it. He's across midfield. And finally brought down at the 43. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Here's Love. Completes it again to Dallas. And he's taken down inside the 30. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And he's going to be taken down. 35-yard line. The pause now is a 10 to an injured player. And it, yeah, it's a quarterback, Jordan Love. He's shaking up out there. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury. And we'll be back in a moment. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Now it's Clifford. Out of the backfield, this is Aaron Jones. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run.
No score after one on EA Sports. Back for the second quarter in Green Bay. It's the Packers in possession of the football. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Clifford to throw. This is caught. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Another nice gain. 13 yards that time and another first down. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Here's Clifford. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Just looking at it from a defensive perspective, when you break the huddle in the red zone, tight end is one of the guys you've got a key on because quarterbacks want the ball in their hands fast in this position, and they want to get it to someone. And in this case, he had the play. They just didn't complete it. Dylan. He is not going to get in here as they push him back to the two-yard line. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. I thought they were onto something with their play call. It kind of went in reverse a little bit, threw it on first down, then ran it on second down. Not successful either way. What play call do they come up with here on this important third down try? Dylan again. But he will lose yardage here as they knock him back to the three. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. Looked like they felt like there was just way too much traffic, so instead of trying to run through the pile on third and goal, they tried to take it outside. But how about that pursuit by the defense? Way too much for them, and they held him up short of the line of scrimmage and the goal line. So off goes Love. On is Carlson for the Packer field goal. From the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. And his kick is right there. It's good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. Carlson back out there now to send this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Saints coming out now to take the field. This one a little slow to get cooking. Just a 3-0 score line as they begin with a first and 10. They begin the drive with Williams. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. From the gun, it's Carr. Slant pass complete to Alave. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So from the 36 now, first and 10. To throw his car. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Thomas. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. They'll bring a tight end in motion left. On second down, Williams. 
And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Back to the ground, this time with Jones. And he's going to be brought down inside the 45 at the 43. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. From the 43, it's second and three. Card out of throw. And that is caught downfield by Thomas. Touchdown, New Orleans. Michael Thomas. 43 yards, and the Saints have taken the lead. When we draw up defenses on the board, we do account for every receiver. But on that particular play, somehow he was wide open, became an easy touchdown pass. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it's Michael Thomas who ends it with a touchdown reception. The ball upright on the tee, and the Saints kick team booms it away. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Oh, another drive coming up for this Packers offense. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three-point CD. Yeah, if you're into the points-per-drive ratio, that answer is one, and that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not have the balls go through goalposts. Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here first and 10 at about the 32. And he'll begin the drive with a give to Jones. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 42 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. They went counter there offensively, and a couple of the defenders were on skates for a second. They certainly were, and you know what offensive linemen love about the counters and the misdirections? Sometimes you don't have to block the defender. He can run himself out of the play if he doesn't read his keys properly. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. Down the right sideline. Touchdown. Well, mistake there by the offense, Charles. They tried to pick on a Pro Bowl corner in coverage there, and not the smartest decision. He reminded him that he was a Pro Bowl corner <laughs> with not only the pick, but the pick six. And those guys who have that designation, sometimes they get a little bit bored in games because people try to avoid them. They absolutely love it when they get challenged, and it's a chance to remind everyone exactly why they were tabbed as one of the best in the league the prior season. The try here for the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. 
And remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Another strong run from the underrated Aaron Jones, who really deserves more credit for what he has done for the Packers. Even splitting carries in an offense that loves to throw it around, Jones put up his third 1,000-yard season in the last four years. First down, going to the air with Love. Got Dobbs over the middle. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 16 more on that one and another first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. That's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 38. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. Touchdown, Packers! Christian Watson, 38 yards! And the Packers are back within a score. And they use that height on the outside to get the score. We've seen the evolution of the wide receivers. They've gotten taller and taller, but they've retained their quickness and their speed. It's a lethal combination. Always good to have wide receivers with height. And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs. And I think they're going to at least take a look at this. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds. And obviously, a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stays. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review. So they had it right. Anders Carlson now for the point after. And he's got it. That cuts the lead. It's now 14 to 10. So a 75-yard scoring drive on just three plays. And it was all capped off by a touchdown catch from Christian Watson. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. Now we'll see what Michael Thomas and the rest of the offense has in store here. He's doing what he's capable of, having a solid game. Not, not the most amazing game. He's not over 100 yards, but a good game so far. And you just know that mentally, he feels like he's one catch away from turning it into a great game and starting on that road. And the defenders are well aware of that, too. They've got to figure out a way to not let that escalate. Keep him right in this zone here and call it a day, because otherwise, he can really decimate them. Better believe they are well aware of his playmaking ability. And the running lanes non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Now Williams going to get it again on second down. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Well executed there on second down, so do you go back to the air on third? Well, that's a possibility, but now you've opened up things to where you showed that you would run the ball in long-distance situation. You might come back again because I doubt they believe you'll do it a second time. From the gun now on third down, Carr. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. 
could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. Here comes the Saints punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return, and that will come the offense as they take over. Christian Watson and the rest of this offense back out now. He's been good so far to this point in the second quarter. Need to get him even more involved, maybe? I would agree with that, definitely. Uh, yeah, it's not even a question for me. The way he's playing, he's doing a nice job. Increase things, more touches, more opportunities. Maybe that can reverse things on the scoreboard for them. They'll try to ratchet things up then maybe here in the second quarter. They're going to get about three here out of this first down run, and that'll bring up second and seven. Not a lot of running room there, not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. And they'll come up on a second and seven from the 27. To throw now, here's Love. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. This offense so far on third down, they've only converted once in four tries. This is third and seven. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Love going to give this one to Jones. 78 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Towards the middle and caught by Musgrave. And he's got this down to the 35. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. And maybe that touchdown on the previous drive has re-energized this offense a little bit. They've been kind of sluggish until then, but they're showing signs of life here, and they get good yardage that time and a first down. And inside give to Jones. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. And they're getting ready to go to work now. Prime real estate after that last run found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. First down, love to pass. And his throw is incomplete. Right up to that point, I was about to say, he's had a pretty good half catching the football, but let's just be honest about it. He should have caught that one. And he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. Second and 10. Love from the gun. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. That play call wasn't there for them against that coverage. So they're going to spin the dial now in their playbook and come up with one more shot at the marker to try and keep this series going. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. On play action. Love to throw. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Fourth down after the New Orleans defense holds serve. I think it's safe to say that he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Forced some throws into tight coverage. He's already been picked off in this game. Fourth down now, but he was fortunate on that one not to have another turnover on his ledger. And this one is right through. And the 
lead is down to one now at 14-13. So the margin shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw them a bit closer here in the second quarter. Yeah, nice snap, nice hole. They just want to keep this game close, so give them credit for finishing that one off with three. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. pass is going to wind up incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. They'll set up a throw. This one swung out here to Jones. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. Five yards, now it's third and five. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for offense. Alave over the middle. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. Receivers love having the reputation. Now, I believe they buzz down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. The thing that they'll be looking at is a spot of the football, and uh, this is always such a tough one for officials to get exactly right. Not just because of how fast the game's going, but just trying to get the right sight line to the football, that's not always easy. We'll see what they decide here. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. On play action, now Carr. That is hauled in by Michael Thomas. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Again, they'll throw with Carr. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Perry. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down.
going to be incomplete. Green Bay up to the task there in coverage and forcing a fourth down. Smart move to throw that one away. You're in field goal range, so you definitely don't want to be loose with the ball. And that's great work by this defense to force a fourth down. So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. And his kick is indeed good, and the drive will wind up yielding three. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And with eight seconds on the clock, really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. And some room to run now. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. So we have reached halftime with the visiting Saints out on top. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, Brandon, back to you too in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports halftime report. We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Set now to go for the third quarter. The Saints have the lead and set to receive the kick. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Out come the Saints now. They'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. This offense set to begin the third quarter. And Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead. And they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game. So probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one. So now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game. And down the stretch, being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it, and try and win this ball game. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. But plain and simple, that's the second time today that he's dropped a pass. And that one, I think, maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped. Surprising. Was this game announced as a night game prior to, and maybe his rhythm is confused. just off? He's got know. thrown off. He's got to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. Meanwhile, Carr's throw complete there to Thomas. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 
The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. And the slot man goes in motion left. And he'll get it here on the jet sweep. Dropped at the 35. So able to display his strength, but not much room to operate. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Well, they gave up a few yards there, but all in all, I think it's a pretty nice job defensively against the Jets sweep. If they don't slow him up, he might take it to the house. So they'll take that play every time on the defensive side of the ball. And he's taken down, trying to do a little too much, getting outside of the pocket, and it results in a sack. Making that play on the pass rush, that's Devontae Wyatt. But well, we got used to seeing Devontae Wyatt do that when he was at the University of Georgia. Played sparingly as a rookie with Green Bay as he made the adjustment to the NFL. Expect a much bigger role for him if he continues to produce plays like that. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they move this all the way down to the nine. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, so much for holding them to a field goal. The pressure they got home on the previous play didn't hear, and that bought their quarterback some time to find a receiver, and it sets up a first and goal. Here's Carr to throw. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Down near the goal line, things really get physical. You're always anticipating a running play, but when they do throw it, things happen quickly. A little bit of a bang-bang play there that falls incomplete. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. They give it to Williams, running right. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. This will be play number eight on the drive. It's third and goal. To throw its car. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Green Bay up to the task there in coverage and forcing a fourth down. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. And his kick is good. And that'll make this a seven-point game. Well, looking at it from a defensive perspective, that keeps the deficit very, very manageable. You know, all things considered, not a bad job on the defensive side. I would say that you pointed out something pretty good right there, and that is you actually have both sides happy with that exchange. You know, happy in quotes, of course. One team, hey, we've kept, kept it within range. The other side saying, hey, we put points on the board and did stretch out the lead. Let's see how this one turns out. Yeah, still bottom line, though, three points for the opening drive of the third quarter. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. So here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two. And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half, and get going. Make no mistake about it, though. Kicking field goals, not in their game plan. They need to get involved in the end zone. Loving the Packers now with a first and 10 at the 31-yard line. Love. They go play action now. Throw right side, hauled in by Dobbs. 
And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Now a handoff, running left is Jones. And he's dropped right at the 40, gain of three. Holding offense. So that time they got the left guard with a hold. And let's face it, in today's ball, you might have that 330 pound guy you're supposed to clear out of there. You might need a little bit of extra help by grabbing the jersey and trying to ride him out. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not gonna go anywhere. Call it no gain there, and now they're looking at a third and 13. He's having a big game running the football, but that one will hurt the yards per carry a little bit. Yeah, but the average he's got so far, that's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, doesn't he? Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And take it right on the 30. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Here comes Michael Thomas and the rest of the Saints offense. Good day for him so far here in the third quarter. He's hit pay dirt once over 100 yards, but hey, it's the third quarter. He's thinking, I want more, right? He wants more, and it just increases the confidence of his team because every play he makes, that means his quarterback is really feeling good about throwing the football. Probably feels like he can't throw an incomplete pass when he throws it to him right now. Yeah, he's looked really, really sharp. He pushes through a would-be tackler to get about three yards, second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Thomas goes in motion left. They stay on the ground this time. It's Williams. And he'll make it only to the 43, a gain of two. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they're able to just roam it. Looking for Thomas, but that's intercepted. Devondre Campbell, the linebacker, picks him. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. Before we came up to the booth, last thing he said as we were walking off the field, want to play mistake-free football. Well, that just went out the window there with a pick. Andy, you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh, fatal last words. Every time we hear that, things tend to fall apart a little bit, and that's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. Now a first down carry by Jones. Oh, that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. 139 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? Play fake. Here's Love. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Off the play fake, Love. 
And his throw here is incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. On third down, Love. He's got the hookup with Dobbs. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. They'll get 10 there, but it leaves him just short for fourth down. But don't tell any defensive coordinator I played for, but that might be considered a win for both teams because defensively they stopped them short and forced the fourth down. But offensively, they picked up enough yards to give their kicker a better shot if that's what they want to do. Shifts by him. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. 21 yards for Aaron Jones. And the Packers' decision to go for it pays off with six points. So how about the fortitude there? They're in field goal range, but they say, no, forget the three. We think we can get the first, and they wind up getting a lot more than they bargained for. And I love how you used an SAT word to describe what we just saw there, partner. That's got to be a deflated defense. You see the head down, the shoulders slumped. But we've talked about this before. Sometimes as a defense, you get so wrapped up in defending the first down line that that's your last line of defense. And once they get past that, they're gone. been a tight ball game we're all even at 20 now as the kicks away from his end zone here's Rashid Shaheed and he returns this to the 22 now the Saints offense they get ready to go back to work here we got a brand new ball game all even after that last touchdown so every drive now becoming a little more critical here in the second half Carr going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 22. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Two yards to go, second down. Play action, now it's Carr. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. The one with a dime look on defense, two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Here's Carr. Oh, they would have gotten the conversion if he could hold on. Instead, the drop means it'll be fourth down. I would dare say that these guys would have liked to have given their defense a little bit more rest since they gave up a touchdown their last time out. But alas, my man, that's not going to happen. Yep, they're going to have to grab those helmets, get right back out there. Here comes the Saints punter now as he's on here to punt it away. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. Yeah, call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. Here's Aaron Jones in the offense trotting back out. He's had a good performance, moved the ball effectively on the ground. Of course, he has the one touchdown. And when you're able to move it as effectively as you've described, that leads to finding a way into the end zone, and now he's just trying to do it for a second time. And, of course, with that comes additional yardage. Yeah, looking for additional yardage. And, again, that second score... Here in the third quarter. On first and 10, Love. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now the toss to Jones, running right. 
And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that one, no gain. So they're left with still 10 to go on third down. That time they're able to bottle him up, but he's having a really nice game. I agree with that. Let's just go big picture, right? Every back that's in the Hall of Fame had carries where they didn't gain yardage or they lost yardage, but you stick with them, don't you? When they're having a good game, keep feeding them. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. I've got a good friend in football, always talks about predictive history. He's got one of their two touchdowns. You can understand why they tried to find him again. Weren't able to connect, but the thought, that was good. On now is the Packers punter, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. So possession goes over here on the punt. The New Orleans offense set to take over. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Carr going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at the 33-yard line. Out of the gun, he'll throw. A quick throw there is incomplete. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. They'll set up to throw. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. They fake the handoff. Now Carr. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Here comes the Saints punter now as he's on to kick it away. Here comes Reed. Nice punt, but good work on the return to get back 11 yards. Green Bay returning on offense, led by running back Aaron Jones. We've seen him be good so far. He's hoping to continue that trend here in quarter number three. And typically when you see guys running it this well, they see the game in slow motion, don't they? They see the cuts happen, they see the blocks happen, they feel really good about their vision, and then they use their legs to find that open space. And he's had some good help up front to boot. Love gonna break the huddle, lead the Packers up here first and 10 at the 34. And he can only manage to get a couple, second and eight coming up. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly. That was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. A four-receiver look here. Three out to the left, one to the right on second and eight. Working out of the gun. Love. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot, forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that he can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Packer first down. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw it, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. First down, love to pass. 
That's to the tight end, Musgrave. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. I don't care what sport you're playing, everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this, back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent gain. On play action, love to throw. He finds his man, complete. It's Reed. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Here's a give to Jones running left. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Now throw there by Law, pulled in by Reed. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 33. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll try the right side with Jones. And a five-yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. From the 28, it's second and five. Play action this time with Love. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Glove. And he is caught. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. And that could be one of those turning point plays in a ball game. A field goal gets you the lead here, but they want to make a statement and get six points. And they're certainly going to get that opportunity as they get the conversion and set up first and goal. It'll be first and goal when we come back. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Lambeau. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. Here's Love. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Romeo Downs, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Packers have broken this deadlock and have taken the lead here in the fourth. They went five wide in that offensive set. And race it going three wide's a big deal. To go five, how about the way that they finish things off? <laughs> Did you just fit a race car reference into the game? Zoom, zoom. How about the way that you play? When you go five wide, that means you're going fast now. Zoom, zoom indeed. Carlson's extra point up and good. And they will take a seven-point lead. And back out there now to send this one away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And now, after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. Couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. 
First and ten here to throw his car. Over the middle, into the hands of Michael Thomas. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. On play action, it's Carr. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one. And that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks. And he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Back to the air on second down. It's Carr. That'll be taken in by Shahid. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 42. A good pick up there of 22. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Up the middle, it's Williams. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. And we're at the 41, second and nine. Working from the gun, it's Carr. Look at the big man rumble. And all the way down to the five. It's a gain of 35. You ask tight ends about their favorite routes to run, and surprisingly, this will pop up as one of their staples because they run so many routes in the middle of the field. How about this one? Starts downfield, bends it to the corner. Great touch on the football, and they turn that one into a big play. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, now we're going to get another look at this one. Dennis Allen not happy, so he has thrown the challenge flag. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is so Dennis Allen successful on that challenge. A good decision to throw the flag. Extra point forthcoming. And no sweat. He puts it through. And we are tied here in the fourth. That time a six-play drive. And that drive all capped off with a Romeo Dobbs touchdown. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. Taking it about the one. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. Loving the Packers now with a first and 10 at their own 13. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he'll be corralled well on field right around the 40-yard line. Boy, 194 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue. 
continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. Love now. He'll complete this one to Watson. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. From the 48-yard line, here's second and a yard. Up the middle, Jones. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line to throw now. Here's Love. Got Dobbs over the middle. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. It's a gain of 16 and a first down for the green and gold. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there. And they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Running right, Jones. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It was Cameron Jordan who came in and got him. The run defense, they have been porous at times today, but not that last go around. No, they really tightened it up, didn't they? They finally got themselves a win because all game long we've seen them get gashed. This time they played their responsibilities, played their keys, and made a nice stop. Love's throw finds its target, Dobbs. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 17-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. The give is to Jones. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. This has been an up-and-down, back-and-forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Second down and eight. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. This one swung out here to Jones. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. On third and one, love to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Flush to his right. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. Dylan. Diving for the end zone, and he is in. Touchdown. This is the time of game where offensive lines can really dictate a team's fortunes. It's been a tough battle. They've been out there for a long time. But this was a question of who can wear down who. And that's excellent work to put a long drive together and finish it with a touchdown run to take the lead. Carlson's extra point up and good. And they will take a seven-point lead.
So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Saints offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. Carr going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 23. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Packer pressure and down he goes. Devontae Wyatt picks up his second sack of the afternoon. That sack doesn't change their offensive game plan. They always want to air it out and try and get the ball downfield quickly. They're going to have to block a little bit better, though, because the urgency and pressure just increase. Twice the distance now just to get a first down and one less down to try and get it. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Now a 10th carry. Here's Williams. And they won't fare much better here as he maybe gets back to the line. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just so quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. So that a double whammy. Not only do you have to give away the football, but the two points, that means this is now a two-score game. Yeah, and that's tough to deal with, isn't it? This little time left, those two points, doesn't seem like a lot, but it means everything now. Those are going to be the ones we're going to look back on. Those two points right there, the play of the game. And remember, following the safety, you give the football up as well. And they free kick it from the 20 now. And now, how about this? The free kick from the 20 going to be out of bounds. And that, of course, is a penalty. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Automatic first down. Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here first and 10, right at the 50-yard line. A give to Jones, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. And he's going to get back to the original line of scrimmage, but that's about it. The second down play, not much better than the first, just a gain of one there. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Third and 10. Expect a timeout right away if they can't stop them here. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Five 
Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. yard line now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play Jones and they go the wrong way here knocked back to the 20 just a loss of a yard there, but it's not going to help. Now they face a third and 14. Well, the offense has had a big day. He's been great running the football, but I don't think anybody liked that last result. No, they didn't like the last result at all, but they have to look at it in total, don't they? They've had a big day running the football. You take an occasional loss or an occasional bad play along the way, but all in all, they have to like what they've done. And he'll only get this to the 14 as he'll come up well short of the first down. That'll be good for six, but now it's fourth down. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. From the right hash, this a 31-yard attempt. And his kick here is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So when you factor in the safety, that's now a five-point swing. And look, I'm not going to turn away a five-point swing because five points, that's valuable. Don't get me wrong on this. But if they could have taken that safety and added seven to it, now you're talking about a really big swing. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. They'll come up first and 10 here. Here's Carr. He completes it to Alave. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Well, somebody lit a fire under that offense during the break, Charles. Remember, they trailed at intermission. They come out, they have the big second half. And that lifts them to the victory. And Brandon, trailing at halftime, we always talk about teams making adjustments. You know what the best adjustments usually are? It's just executing better. Because the game plan you put in place at the beginning of the week often still holds. You don't have to make wholesale changes. You just have to do it a little bit better, a little cleaner. And they did that in the second half. And that left.